This woman tells us this problem is not anything new. It's been going on for several years now. Tonight, she's hopeful that this audit will encourage the city to change how it enforces permits for short term rentals. Unfortunately, um, they did start small early on and they have pro proliferated in the last few years. Kate Barsati's lived in Kansas City's Columbus Park neighborhood for 20 years. She's concerned that unlicensed short term rentals, which are non traditional hotels like an Airbnb, will eventually turn her neighborhood into a hotel district. We are losing our housing stock. We are losing our neighbors. We're losing our community. Since the Kansas City City Council passed an ordinance in 2018 regulating short-term rentals, thousands remain unlicensed. A new city audit released Thursday shows that between August of 2018 and August of 2022, only 276 of the nearly 4,200 short-term rentals have permits. That's lost the city roughly $1 million in revenue while bringing in just $129,000. One of the biggest gaps in our ordinance is the fact that uh, it is not currently clearly prohibited uh, to, to, um, to advertise your unit as a short-term rental on any of the platforms. City Councilman Eric Bunch also says unlicensed short-term rentals aren't properly enforced. He blames that on a lack of fees to pay for both the program and the staff to enforce it. To address the problem, he's introduced a resolution co-sponsored with Mayor Quentin Lucas that would change enforcement responsibilities from the planning department to neighborhood services. It's a department that is really much more accustomed to doing enforcement out in the field. It's a step in the right direction for Barsati, who hopes the issue is resolved before upcoming events like next year's NFL draft and the 2026 World Cup. Outsiders are coming in, they have enough money to buy a single family home, turn it into an Airbnb, and they may be charging up to $4,000 a night. That's a big incentive to come into a neighborhood like this one and tear it apart. And Councilman Bunch hopes to change state law regarding this issue as well. Currently, Missouri state statutes prevent Kansas City from collecting a convention and tourism tax on short term rentals. If that tax had been in place, Kansas City would have received nearly $2 million in less than two years.